All right, guys, this is very exciting. Now, anyone that follows my channel knows that I'm a big fan of the Greenworks, um, but I'm not. It's because Greenworks brought it with a very powerful chainsaw, and there hasn't really been any challengers except for maybe the MSO uh, 300 from steel, but I just can't bring myself to shell out like 1400 bucks for one when the Greenworks kit 600. So this is Ego Kit. This is their commercial series, uh, 20 inch chainsaw, and they're advertising 3,500 watts, which is like 4.7 horsepower, which is a little, it's edging out the Greenworks in terms of specs. And it's a 30 meter per second chain speed, which is I think the fastest of anybody right now. Now, I don't know if it's gonna stay that way loaded up, but I intend to take a look at this thing and I intend to find out how this is gonna perform. So. Let's take a look first. Let's see this thing. Because this is the big ego. And when I, one thing I do like right out of the gate is that this the ego comes with an 8 amp hour battery. Which at uh, I think the ego is 56 volts. So it's probably nominal 54. Let's take a look. That says 56 volts. So that's uh, the eight amp an eight amp hour battery. That's uh, 448 watts of power. So that's a that's a lot of that's a lot of energy packed into the battery that it comes with, which I, I definitely like that. So hopefully this won't be underpowered with the battery that it comes with, because that's a known problem with the green work. So nice. Look at that. Nice set of bucking spikes on it. Metal. Oh. And there's the scabbard. There's the bar. And I like that it's a, uh, is it a 325? Oh, it's a 325 chain. Okay. So all the Greenworks other stuff is 3 8s. But this is 325, so that's interesting. Um, I'm curious if it's interchangeable with the Greenworks. And let's take a look. It does appear that it comes with a full chisel chain, so that's nice too. Oops. So you get the, I got a metal body on it and um, I don't see, oh there it is, okay. This is, uh, those are larger diameter screws. So the scrunch has a big end on it. They appear to be, are they captured? Yeah, they're sort of captured, that's interesting. So there's an E-ring that retains this. That's a, a 325. Where is there? Is there an adjustment for the wheel? I don't see it. So maybe it's just one oiling speed. But A nice looking 20 inch bar 325 curious what style tailstock this is just a second
All right, so interestingly enough, this, uh, this Ego bar seems to use the same uh, tail stock and style bar as the Husqvarna Rancher series. So that's pretty cool that those are interchangeable and it would be pretty easy to switch this over to a 3 8 pitch and be able to put bigger bars on it, assuming that this will handle it. So that's cool. Just a little, I'm getting ahead of myself. Now I don't see, I'm looking at this, and I don't see, uh, doesn't say what type of chain it is. Um, like I said, it's a full chisel chain. Um, I'm not seeing a chain type on it. Um, but it does have, does have these like, double safety breaker looking things on it um, so that's interesting also so let's let's put a bar and a chain on this so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this thing together and we're going to try this out we're going to see how it cuts we're going to see how powerful it is um, and we're going to do that in its stock form, the way that the way that it came, and uh, and we'll compare it to the Greenworks, because in my mind, these are these are two very close series right now. Of course, Greenworks next series is coming out soon, and then uh, it'll be a different thing again. But this this is a good looking saw, so. I'm real curious to try this out and then to do a few modifications to see how this thing goes with say a 3 8 maybe it'll handle a 24 inch bar and chain there we go I'll try to do this so everyone can see it Kind of on there, and then put the, this back on. And this, if this feels metal, maybe magnesium or something. So that's pretty cool. I like that. I'm a big fan of metal. And you know what I'm gonna do while we're this is probably dead. Two, two bars. So while we're looking at this, I'm going to put this on a charger. All right. Put that thing on there. Nice tension. Put a little bar oil in it, and then let's see what it weighs. They always tell you what the thing weighs without anything on it. That's just not a useful measurement, is it? Nobody just uses a power head. I'm gonna go cut some wood with a power head. I don't think so. All right, folks. Ready for forest RFF. 
with the 8 amp battery included in the kit we're at 20 pounds 7 ounces I don't think the electrons will add anything to it so first thoughts so far just looking at it I really I like the bar that they give you um, I don't like that it's 325 but I do like that it's it's uh, it's an actual chainsaw bar I mean this is basically the same bar that you would find on a husky you know 460 uh, well they come with 24 inch bars but if this power rating is correct this should handle a 24 inch bar so we, we're gonna test that um, and the control panel on this is a little more involved it's got uh, it's got a light which is nice right there and uh, there's a oil indication there's a battery indication and there's a load indication and there's a speed setting um, for our test we're going to be using the high speed but say you want to conserve battery power you should be able to uh, change that all right the load level on the right side of the LCD screen shows current load on the machine the number of bars indicates the higher load and the lower number of bars indicates a lower load this feature is primarily intended for experienced gas powered chainsaw users that may not have the feel of how battery powered saw behaves under different loads it helps users monitoring workloads so as to avoid long time operation under heavy load which can make the chainsaw stops during operation because of getting too hot mm. Not a great translation, but not bad. All right, now the speed mode, uh, it says if you're using a battery pack of four amps or less, only the eco mode is available. If you're using a battery pack rated for six amp hours or less, no, it's less than six amp hours, it will not allow you to use the high speed. So for best performance, we strongly recommend the use of eco battery packs that are six amp hours or more I'd love to put a 12 amp hour battery on this but I don't have another 600 bucks to spend the machine automatically lubricates the chain the chainsaw allows you to change the oil output rate with every press of the oil feeding button so it's an electronically controlled oil feed rate that's interesting when the oil level is low, the indicator above the oil output bars will appear on the LCD screen and only low output rate will be available. Stop the chainsaw and refill the oil tank following the chapter filling the oil tank. Now, I haven't used the saw. I don't know, but the, the less electronic controls are nice so that if you're not paying attention you don't damage the saw but they're not nice in my opinion sometimes because they're another failure point and after the saw has been used for a while you know something comes on and says there's low oil even though the oil's not low and it won't allow you to use the chainsaw in high speed or the the electronic oil control i mean i don't know i mean i gotta get used to it right because this is this is the new age and these are the new age chainsaws so It'll just be a question of learning how to fix this stuff too. Like we fix gas saws, so hopefully we'll be able to fix these. And there's already a video out about how to change the motor in this and the saw is barely released. So <laughs> that's interesting. And I, and I want to look into parts, like hopefully parts are available for this. this is one of my complaints on the Greenworks is, um, you know, there's just a few outer parts available, but you know, these inner things like the oil pump or maybe the the, L, the the PLC that controls the oil pump I mean I'm not gonna pull apart electronics and work on them personally but you know maybe there's a little PLC that you know you take four bolts out and disconnect it and put a new one in if that thing's available for 20 or 30 bucks if it goes south great you know I mean they they're not hard to work on if the parts are available inspection window which is here okay so <laughs> this is kind of cool the the speed control so this is the 
This is the oiling function. This is the light function. And then this is the speed control. So, you know, it's the, the handle seems pretty ergonomic. You put your hand there, you pull the trigger, and then this is your change gears. First gear, second gear, third gear. So that's cool. All right, this is quite exciting. We're gonna do uh, we're gonna do our first test cuts here with the Ego Commercial CSX 5000. So let's see if it pays to have a big Ego. We got our battery fully charged. Let's see. Looks like it's ready to go. I'm gonna put this thing in high gear, and we're gonna make a couple cuts. This is about about nine inches. And we're just gonna, I'm gonna try it out on this before we get to the real test subject. All right, I think I got a little bit of a feel for it. The chain, I'm gonna tighten up a little bit and we're gonna cut something big. Okay, folks, here it is, the Challenger weighing in at 20 pounds, eight ounces, with an eight amp battery. We're gonna see how we do on a nice big piece of wood. I got the oil turned up, I got the speed turned up. Let's see how it does. that the white mountains calling me to dinner all right folks looks like it's time for a break but there it is that's the ego okay we got our feet wet with the ego CSX 5000 and uh, it's a pretty it's a pretty sweet chainsaw um, you know, it's nice. The the ease of putting on a bigger bar and chain is pretty nice. I haven't had a chance to really play with it yet, but uh, we'll get a new log up on there because this one's finished, and we'll do some more comparisons between that and the Greenworks, and we'll get a little deeper into it. Um, it's been, you know, I. It's a nice saw. It's got nice power. I would love to get a 12 amp battery in there and see how it does with that. Um, you know, it's. I want everyone to keep in mind, like, even this is a really nice saw. It's two years behind this. This has been out for two years, and they're about to come out with their next level, which is gonna, which is probably gonna leapfrog this considerably. Um, so this has some nice features, which I expect because you know it's it's two years after the green works, but. Overall, I do really like the saw and I like some features on it um, And I look forward to getting used to trying some different cuts and techniques techniques and 
things with it. So that's our first look at the Ego Commercial Series 56 volt chainsaw that comes with 20 inch bar and chain.